You guys awake? Yeah. Come on, come on. All right. Those of you guys that weren't part of uh, Double Dog Air last night, there's so many stuff for you to do, but a lot of the morning here, we're going to be going through some of the pictures and videos that, um, that you guys sent in throughout the night last night. Um, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, we sent some dares over the course of the evening, and you guys submitted those back to us, and we... Um, basically chose winners for each and every one of those there. Let me explain how this is going to work, okay? So we have a lot of stuff that we're going to, to give away. I'm going to explain how this is going to work, okay? So we're going to go through each day. There were seven there were seven days. We're going to go through each and every one of them, and we'll go third, second, and first place. So those are the only pictures and videos that we're showing for each day. We're going to show the, the entries that got first, second, and third place. Um, I did it differently this year. And instead of every other year, I kind of saw every entry and I judged and picked first, second, and third. I didn't do that this year. I sent it out. Each dare was chosen by a different um, adult leader at, at church here. And so I was worried that that would kind of like tip the scales a little bit and balance, but, but it really didn't. Okay, there was kind of a, um, a big range of outcomes. Um, but if you, you didn't get chosen for being there, uh, don't blame me. It's not my fault. I'm just displaying the results. So okay, I'm going to put that out there right now. And uh, if you have any kind of issue or problem, I'll give you the name and address of whoever judged that particular day, and you can take it up with them. Okay? Right. I probably won't do that. But so we'll go through each of the seven dares. Throughout the morning, we'll have some uh, live dares and challenges. That's what kind of this stuff is set up for. And um, we'll give away prizes for that as well. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. Every dare, if, you, if your team wins a dare, one person on your team is going to get to pick a prize here. So you can see I have some more bags down here. These are all the teams that we had throughout the night. Okay? So if your team is labeled here. I have every person who's on your team on like a little piece of paper, and they're in there, so I'm gonna reach in there and grab that person's name, whoever that person is, they're gonna come up and they'll be able to grab one of these bags here. I'm just gonna randomly choose it with the, the spinner, okay? So you're not gonna have to, to choose it. You can see that there's, they're all kind of like little, little prizes, um, but we do have some bigger prizes down on the bottom. So with the bags, the bags, all three of them have uh, letters. So they'll just have a piece of paper, letter on A, B, or C, and we'll save that for the end and give those prizes out at the end. Okay? Alright, so that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna do it here. And we're gonna start with um, a real quick, what we're gonna call a five second challenge. Don't put this up yet, Elijah. I want to explain it real quick here. So we're gonna have um, we're gonna have teams compete uh, against each other in five second challenges uh, right here. And so here's what we're gonna do. Um, let's um, I'm gonna call out a couple teams and I just want you to send up one person for your team to compete in this one. These are just really simple things and they're five seconds because that's all it takes you to do. It's five seconds. They're five second challenges and you'll compete against two other teams and um, I'll just judge who I think did, did the best in the challenge. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. We'll have, I know some of you only have one um, person from your team, then that's just going to be who, who comes up. All right, so you're not going to have a choice. Sorry about that. All right, so we'll send, uh, let's get um, Kitty Fox Squad. Let's do uh, Dragon Squad. And let's do uh, the Three Horn Unicorn. Okay, if that's your team, just send up one person from your team. All right, just come up in the, the front, right here, down in the front. All right, I know, you guys. All right, Skylar, Hayden, and Justice, who are yeah. you sitting together? Do I mean to pick one? Skylar wants to? Yeah. All right, come on, Skylar. Okay, this, uh, this challenge is very simple. Here's what I want to do. I'm just going to very simply, um, why, don't you, why don't you guys come up on the, the stage? Well, oh, we'll do it one at a time. Skylar, you can go first. Come up here on the stage. Okay, and um, I'm just going to give you just a, a five second countdown. It's just, I'll count my fingers, five, four, three, two, one, you know. Um, and so here's the, here's the first challenge. Go ahead and put that up there, uh, Elijah. 
The first challenge is you're going to be kind of mining and doing things. Um, you see it there? Nope, not that one. That one. Okay, so you're basically for five seconds going to act like you are cleaning and you just discovered a spider. Okay, whoever can do this the best, I'm going to pick a winner, we'll spin the wheel and we'll give away some stuff. Okay? All right, so when I say go, you go ahead and go, I'll count down from five. All right? All right, cheer, cheer him on. He's going to be trying to act like he's going to be All right, ready, set, go. All right, and time's up. All right, Abby, go up there. Try, try to beat that. All right. That's pretty good. All right, ready, set, go. All right, pretty good, pretty good one, Zach. All right, let's see what you got here, Zach. Ready, set, go. All right, very good. Um, I think uh, Abby was the only one that kind of did go. All right, um, I, think, I think Abby won. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel here. Let's spin that wheel for us, Slider. It's not working yet. Twenty-four. Get your number twenty-four. You can go back to your seat. Let's go through. We're going to go through dare number one. Okay, so here are the winners for. There, number one, third place. Now remember, we give out points for um, we give out points for each. You're going to 
put, um, what you're going to do is, with, without using your hands, you can only use the, the spoon, you're going to spoon cotton balls into your bowl there. Okay? So you're going to have 60 seconds to do that, and whoever can get the most cotton balls in the bowl, we're going to get some water. Okay? All right.
All right. Put that back down there. Okay, we got one more, one more dare here. Dare number four was the chameleon. The one where you gotta had to hide in plain sight. Okay. Third place, choppers. That's kind of. See, so he is hiding the pumpkin. I thought that was really good. That was good. All right. And then second place is uh, the Rona girls. And there she is, popping up. Very good. All right, first place, dare number four goes to E. Claire's. All right, that was very clever. That was a very good one. Let's get um, E. Claire's bag up here and pull a name out. Again, I didn't, vote, I didn't pick these winners, but I think that they did a pretty good job. All right, Caitlin. Come on, Caitlin. Back number 10. All right, give the E players a round of applause for their number four. All right, five second challenge. We're gonna get three more teams. Let's get um, someone from team, someone from team uh, Champions for Christ. Someone from Choppers and someone from uh, Rona Girls. Chandler's for Christ, Rona Girls, Choppers. Send someone up from your team, right? All right, you can kind of just gather right there on the front. We're doing another five-second challenge. Let's see. Uh, let's see what you guys are going to be doing here. Okay, so we're going to go one at a time here and explain what a book is without using the words paper, ink, or pages. All right, so explain, explain what a book is without using the word paper, ink, or pages. All right, can you do it, Sophia? All right, hey, Eliza, get one of those, uh, get one of those mics over there turned on. Get ahead over there, Sophia, and use one of those microphones. All right, so I'm gonna count it down, and um, all right, so we have five five seconds to explain what a book is. Pretend that nobody has seen a book; we have no idea what it is, but you can't use the words paper, ink, or pages. All right, are you ready? Test that light. Make sure it's make sure it's good. All right, we're good. All right, ready, set, go. A thing that you read, like Harry Potter and stuff like that. <laughs> all right, all right, that's not. That's to, to Reese. Reese, hop up there. All right, pretty good. Pretty good, Sophia. Okay, you can't use paper, ink, or pages. Five seconds. Ready, set, go. It's a cover, words, and pictures. Um, All right. That's pretty good, too. All right, Sarah. Hop up there. All right. Here we go. Ready, set, go. It is a story folded in half that you can read. All right. I I I think Sarah. I think you guys all impressed me. Very 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 good. I think Sarah won. Here we go, Sarah. Let's give you something. Bag number twenty one. All right. Here we go. Give her a round of applause. Thank you, girls, for participating. We got one more um, one more five second challenge here coming up, but. Uh, right now we have a game that anyone can play, so it's not going to be restricted to the, the teams um, unless I just want to call out random people, okay? So this is called um, Foam Face, okay? The, the object is we're going to have two teams of two. Um, someone is going to be kind of dressed up in the apparel here to kind of keep themselves still looking clean and, and fresh, and, and they're going to have... Um, whipped cream, or not whipped cream, shaving cream, shaving cream, kind of all over their face. The other person on their team is going to be standing on one of these squares at the bottom, and they're going to be throwing cocoa puffs one at a time to try and get them to stick to their partner's face. 
Okay, so whatever team has more cocoa puffs, we're gonna give prizes to both of those people. Okay, so who wants to who wants to play? Two teams of two. Two teams of two. Alright. Reese, you got a partner? Someone wanna play with Reese? I can I, mean, I can just call some. You wanna play with Reese? Alright, Reese and Leah, come on up. You guys can decide who is throwing and who is, I guess, receiving. Um, all right, Gabe, pull someone up with you. No, it has to be on our 
face. Oh. All right, we have this is paper towels here behind you guys. All right, let's get the cleanup going, but we'll get some prizes to get in here first. All right, 17. Let's see, and 12. All right, good job, guys. Here, 17 and 12 for the winners. Look good, Leah. Shooting with. 
All right, second place was team. That was pretty good. All right, I'm, I'm asking you first place is that much better, I guess. First place was uh, E. Claire's. <laughs> You guys see what we're doing? Put down the treadmill. That was, that was clever. Good work, girls. Give them a round of applause. Ella! Come on up, Ella. Oh, 23. All right, good work, Ella. Okay, we have one more challenge. And so I'll, I'll call out, there, there should be three teams that I haven't pulled up yet for a five second challenge. So um, make sure I got this way. Uh, team and eclairs and waffles, is that right? You guys, all right. So pull up one person from each of those teams. Come up here for the five second challenge. Come on team, send somebody up. All right, you just get down here in the, the front. Actually, watch them line up over there because you're gonna get them up on stage for this one. Okay, here's what, here's what we're doing. However you guys want to start, that's fine. I'll count you down. Okay, you're gonna act like a bodybuilder who is lifting and showing off at the gym. It's good to be a moment of glory, Brian. You ruined it. All right, we ready? Got five seconds, here we go, and go. All right, all right, all right, press with the props. All right, pretty good, pretty good. All right, all right, pretty good. Pretty good, come on, Jariah. Right, ready, set, go. Oh, all right, I, I, think, that's, I think that's how to win. Jariah, come on over here. Get someone else. You guys have already won some stuff. Prize number 14. Here we go. Has anyone gotten all these letters yet? I don't know if we've gotten all these letters yet. You did? All right. All right. So we're going to we're going to go through the, the winners now. Okay. So we had it was it was a close race between first and second. Okay. Third third place. We were a little bit behind place was the E. Clares. You guys got third place. Pretty good. I mean, you guys got two first place finishes and that really helped you. Um, second place was Team. Team got second place. First place this year was the Waffles. Come on up, Waffles. I'm going to go ahead and let you just Yell out one of the numbers that you want to pick. Go ahead and just yell one out, Elijah. All right, five. What do you want, David? Eleven. Four. Oh, goodness. All right, we want Troy. All right, give a round of applause. Waffles, they have a lot of good fancies. We're going to have like four that, that ended up being the final. All right, does anybody, do we have all of the A, B, and C? Does anybody have A, B, and C out here? You have, all of you? All right, if you, have, if you have a letter, come on up here. You just got to pick one of the, the boxes here. All right, we just got two. Well, it's already labeled, so he doesn't have a choice. Go ahead and pick the one you got, David. Oh, we got a little Oomps Angle Bluetooth speaker. All right, come on, try it. All right, give a round of applause. Good work. Try it, what'd you get? What, which letter? Oh, that was it? We didn't have A or... Oh, it's, it's 
It was in. I know what bags they were in. So I know somebody has it. Make sure you make sure you don't have a white piece of paper that has a letter written on it. One of them's still up here, so I know we didn't give all three away, but one of them should be in there. They were in. They were in bags one and fifteen and nineteen. Oh, come on up, Zach. Come on up. Okay, Zach got C. All right, let's see what's in there, Zach. All right, an Amazon gift card. You almost, you almost lost out on that, Zach. You didn't know what letter you were. All right, we got, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna wrap things up here in just a second. We're gonna watch a quick video. This is from um, the guys at uh, Dare to Share. They created this a while ago. Some of you guys may have seen this, perhaps. It's um, just a bit, very uh, a simple video kind of explaining some just basics of Christianity and faith and, and what it means to, um, to turn to Jesus. And so it's only a couple minutes long. Go ahead and play that for us, Elijah. Because it's, that's the only way that you're going to experience 
um, this, this hope that, that is unmatched with anything else. You know, uh, if anything else, 2020 should have been the year that reminds us that we have no idea what's coming in the future. We have no idea what's going to happen in the next few months, in the next few years, in the next few decades. Guys, we, we don't know. But there, and so a lot of people that are worried about that, they're, they're anxious about, well, what's, what does this mean for our future? Like, like what's going to happen in the next few months? And how is that going to transform our lives moving forward? And I think it can be easy for us to, to be anxious about that and be worried. And that's, those are real feelings. And it's, it's okay to, to think that. But those really should be passing moments for those who follow Christ. And it's because of this very simple thing that Jesus promises that he is. And it's, it's this word, hope. So you see, Jesus gives us hope for the future. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that, that, well, things may turn out good. That's not the hope that we're talking about. Because we can say that, like, well, I, I hope next year is better than this year. And we do hope that, right? I mean, I would think all of us hope that this year, this next year is better than this year. This year is a like, hard and difficult year. We, we can say that, that word. That's not, that's not how Jesus describes hope. That's not how he pictures hope being. Hope is, is this, this confidence in who he is, what he's done for you on the cross. And when you live in that truth with that, that reality inside your heart, it redefines how you look at things. You don't see the, the, the difficulties in the same way as those who don't have the truth, who aren't walking with the Spirit inside them. And guys, this is, this is the only way that we can possibly live with a sense of real and lasting hope. That's, that's the one thing that, that struck me in that video is this idea of something being eternal. We, we go and chase after these things and want these things in our life that are just going to last a little bit of time. And we should be having this focus on things that are forever, that are, that are going to last for all of eternity. And, and you can't possibly do that without a relationship with Christ. And so that's what we center everything that we do is centered on that. I mean, we love, we love having fun. And we love having uh, a good time. I guys, I hope you had fun last night. But it's all centered around this very important principle that, that we want you to find and identify this true source of life. Because we don't want the, the fun that you have to just be temporary. We want that to continue on throughout all of eternity. And I can say as, as a follower of Christ, our, is everything in my life, I label everything as fun? No, of course not. Everything is not fun. In fact, Jesus said that, that we will experience difficulty and trouble. But, but I don't rest uh, assured and I don't gain my confidence or trust in the fact that I'm looking and longing for fun times. We can just simply rest in the fact that Jesus has given us this reason to have hope in our lives. Guys, that's what we want for you. If you've never made a decision to, to trust in Christ, I want to close and give you an opportunity to do that. It's a simple prayer that you can pray if, if maybe you've uh, heard about Jesus in the past but, but never made a, a personal decision like, God, I, I want you to, to come into my life. I want you to, to transform my life. I believe in what you did for me on the cross. Jesus, Jesus was a perfect person a real life person who lived right here on earth who didn't do anything wrong and was, was crucified, was nailed to the cross to pay the penalty for our sins and what he wants is, is us to be able to um, acknowledge that we're not perfect, that we need a sacrifice that, that our relationship with God has been broken because of the times we disobey him and I'm going to give you an opportunity to simple, say a simple prayer 
from yourself. Just whisper it in, in your heart to God. Let's pray. God, I pray for the, the hearts and the lives of those who are here this morning. God, and we're uh, praying that, that as as your spirit is here, God, we know that you're present. We know that you're present here. The Bible promises that, but you're present everywhere, God. There's nowhere that we can go that, that we can escape you. And, and so I know that as we experience and, and feel your presence, that, that there may be someone here that is kind of hearing from you in a different way. We can sometimes describe that as, as God just simply knock on the door. Are you going to invite Jesus into your heart? I'm going to give you the opportunity to do that. If you say, if you say yes, and that Jesus is calling and, and giving you the chance to, to respond, you can say um, a simple prayer like this. Dear God, uh, thank you for sending Jesus to the earth. I know that I cannot get to heaven on my own. I've sinned, I've disobeyed you, God, and I believe that Jesus is that perfect sacrifice that he went to the cross for my sin. I believe that he is the Son of God and that he defeated death, rose to, to life, is living in heaven with you and desires to be a part of my life. God, I invite Jesus into my heart this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. You guys prayed that prayer for the first time. I would love to um, to know so we can celebrate, so we can rejoice with you and kind of instruct you a little bit further, and we can coach you and pray for you and and um, and rejoice and celebrate because that's exciting. This is this is the most exciting thing that anyone can do in their life. And so that's. If that's something you did this morning, uh, please come up and let me know, or, or let someone that you were staying with last night know, or let one of the adults in the room that you have a relationship with, let them know so that we can uh, be excited with you and, and for you. Um, we're, we're not going to dismiss you quite yet. Church is getting ready to get out, but you guys can go back to doing um, some nice wear. We still have some donuts left over, and just continue hanging out. We hope you had fun last night. You're dismissed.